Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Wednesday the 11th of January. The local media headlines today. There's a developing story right now about the discovery of a man's body in the St Austell area in the early hours of this morning. The police are there. It's not clear what's happened. The police are saying the man's death is unexplained. Apart from that, the top story on Radio Cornwall this morning is last night's public meeting in Penzance about the future of Cornwall's National Health Service. Radio Cornwall reports the opinions of those who were there and who said the meeting was a shambles. Cornwall Reports was there too and confirms that the meeting did indeed descend into chaos. The website has video clips from the meeting so you can judge for yourself. The Cornish Times looks ahead to similar meetings planned for East Cornwall tomorrow in the Tor Point and Saltash areas. The Falmouth Packet invites its readers to learn more about solar energy by attending a meeting at the Falmouth Town Council offices next Wednesday. There are plans to generate two megawatts of solar-powered electricity from the roofs of businesses and public sector buildings in the Penryn and Falmouth area. The Bude and Stratton Post reports the award of a £1,000 Community Foundation cheque for the Cornwall Search and Rescue Team, while the Cornish and Devon Post tells us of changes to a hairdressing business in Launceston. And that's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. Do please carry on with the likes and shares on Facebook, but also, and perhaps more importantly, check out cornwallreports.co.uk, a new way of doing the local news, and only a week to go on Crowdfunder. See you later. Bye-bye.